What's going on, everyone? I appreciate all of you hanging out, waiting on the stream to start. For those of you catching replay, though, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications when these live chats. You can take part right along with us. So this came in the mail today, and I couldn't help myself. A lot of people have been asking me about it, so it did get sent my way by Ralph Lauren's PR company that they're dealing with. And uh, did a little quick first impression as I was spraying it on just in the opening. And then between the YouTube short, the Instagram reel, and the TikTok, because I shared it across all three platforms, enough people asked about it smelling like a Ventus for me to make a follow-up short about pineapple. No, does not equal a Ventus. Because no, this does not smell like a Ventus, guys. Definitely not. It's pretty good, though. i got several sprays around the neck. i got one spray on the forearm. I do like it. Uh, I saw somebody say it smells like a polo fragrance. Very simple, very to the point. I very much agree. It smells like a polo fragrance. Not like polo blue, but it smells like something you would expect from Ralph Lauren with the polo name on it. It smells like that semi-casual polo shirt and jeans or, you know, khaki shorts, preppy type of fragrance, if you will. Very much citric, a little spiced, musky, and woodsy. Not reinventing the wheel. This is another one of those fragrances. Smells like mid-level, somewhat generic designer, but smells really good. I wouldn't advise get grabbing it at retail, but, you know, when it hits discounters or, you know, whatever. Solid fragrance, especially if you like this style of fragrance. You're a fan of Ralph Lauren Polo in general. Yeah, then yeah you're probably going to want it. But no, it's not redundant to Ralph's Club. No, it's not redundant to Polo Blue. No, it's not redundant to Polo Red. It is its own thing but it smells like it fits in the Ralph Lauren Polo galaxy, I guess you could say. So we'll wait till around the 10 minute mark to get started, but these did come in. Kajal Ohm 3 and Kajal Ohm 4, so we will be checking those out. I've heard of many, many good things. Better than Tigar, better than Vibrato, better than, I keep hearing better, better, better. So we'll see. And I never hear anybody say anything about this one though. I don't know. I've never looked at the notes on either one because I always just assumed eventually they'd get sent my way, which could y'all, you know, shout out to Mo, did send these my way. They're good, they're good. If they're okay, they're okay. If they're not for me, they're not for me. If they're sh shit, I mean, I doubt that, but I'll say they're shit if they are. So let's get caught up with the chat. I see we've got almost 80 people. Quick, fast, and in a hurry in the first two minutes. If you don't mind, hit that thumbs up for me on your way in. It does help. It is appreciated. All right. Where were we? Much love from India. Center of the day. Spice Bomb Night Vision. I don't even care which version because they're both really good to me. Good to see you. Pluto Chanel EDT. I mean, you can never go wrong with Pluto Chanel, right? Ferris is so damn good and a compliment monster. Ferris is one of their most versatile offerings. It does smell phenomenal. Spicy, aromatic. People relate it to kind of being niche sauvage. I get it. Like Kyler said, go ahead and hit that like button. Appreciate you, Kyler. Tuxedo for Kalen. New addition to the collection. It's a hell of an addition. Good to see you, Jonathan. Squats for me today. And center of the day was John Barbados Artisan Pure on this warm spring day. It was pretty warm today over here as well in the like mid-80s. It was pretty nice. I did uh, back and hamstrings and calves myself. So I did see uh, your squat Instagram story that you had posted. So good to see you, my man. Aqua Cinziale Colonia. Never gets talked about. Good fragrance. Bergamot. A little bit of Ambroxan, kind of a zesty green woodsy vetiver fragrance. It's good. Mr. M.A. Styles, Boss Bottled Night. It's kind of a smoky bar of soap. Joel's Matrix, good to see you wearing one of the greatest designers of all time, Aqua Joe Profumo. I have not tried that from Arabian Oud Sultani. Hearing good things about it. I've never tried it. Latafa Assad, can't go wrong there. Let's see where we're Hey, everyone, center of the day, Sully Daitali. Blind bought it. Great summer fragrance. It is a fun. Yeah, I, I'm glad you retyped it because that was way wrong spelling. Um, I have a feeling that was speech to text. Yeah, that was probably speech to text. Or you fat fingered it, one of the two. But yeah, there you go. That's it. It's either Sole Ditali or Sole Daitali. I've heard it both ways. I'm not sure. It's one of the two. Whatever. So I just say both. <laughs> so I say it wrong and correct. Incorrect and correct every time I talk about it. But Beautiful fragrance, nonetheless. Terrence, good to see you. House of Siage, HOS number 002. Jabanchi Gentleman Cologne. Sad they discontinued that. It's beautiful. Iris, fresh green. That's one of their best originals. That's one of the better freshies I've smelled in a long time. Terrence, good to see you, my man. AT8 Supernova. Flanker yet to be named. Bodicea Ice Twist. Somebody's uh, feeling expensive today with Bodicea fragrances. Good to see you, John. 
Atelier Materi Cedre Figalia, quickly becoming my favorite fig fragrance. If you like fig accords, this is a must try. Noted. Cody's wearing Y O Fresh, beautiful warm lemon, ginger lemon combo. Hey, man, you're preaching to the choir. Um, on the second, 13 days ago, I ordered the ships in one to three days Profondo Parfum from Joma Shop. That still hasn't shipped. Then on the fifth, I ordered Issey Miyake Low Dissy Solar Lavender from said company, Joma Shop, that showed ships in one to three days. Still hasn't shipped. The order that we did when the live stream went out, bought some fragrances several days ago, of course nothing there shipped. So I have three chances Three strikes I threw out there to Joma Shop to give them another chance. In two weeks, I've made three orders and not one fragrance has shipped. I'm not giving them another dollar moving forward. Eventually, these fragrances will come in, but I'm not doing it. This is bullshit. Okay? Bullshit. Shame on you, Joma Shop. Don't say it's one to three days if it's more than two weeks. Bullshit. Never. I'm not. I'm sticking to my guns too. Joma Shop gets no more dollars from TLTG Reviews, the channel, moving forward. Not doing it. Not. I don't care if they're the only place that has this new release designer that I'm just dying to get and it's a phenomenal price. I'll just wait. Not doing it. Very disappointed. I gave them a few more chances because I swore them off for a long time now and they did me like that again. So done. Done. All of you can shop with them all you want. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I think it's bullshit to take people's money, say it's in stock, it'll ship within a few days and never does for me. I know not everybody has this experience, but it's a repetitive experience for me. So I'm done with them. They're dead to me. Good to see you, Mr. There's, there's your tangent for the day. And I think that one's deserved. Creed Himalaya, beautiful musky fragrance. And then I used to have a decant. Be iconic women love this stuff. It does smell like Blue de Chanel. It's hard to not like Blue de Chanel. Signature Bloom from Zaharoff. Great choice. Somebody's smelling nice and uh, resinous, smoky, and flowery. Another one where Blue, so Blue de Chanel EDT is the hot fragrance in the chat today. Fraglomaniacs. Excellent name. I like that. Phantom Parfum. Good choice. I think it's, if I had to rank the three, I would say the Intense, then the Parfum, then the Original for me. Good to see you, Roy. Artisan Blue, another one wearing a John Barbados Artisan Flanger. Dan, not the man. Signature Pour Homme. Can't go wrong with a classic, right? I don't think it smells like Polar Red EDT. Polar Red EDT is sweeter and more powdery. I don't think so. I mean, I'm not saying there isn't some kind of relation to it. I'm sure there is if I was to do a side-by-side. -side, but I have a very large decan of, you know, like a five or like a six-year-old bottle batch of... Uh, Polar Red tea that somebody sent me a while, like a big, like 15 ml decan. It's very powdery and sweet on me. That That is not powdery and sweet on me. So that's kind of the two things I decipher between them. Um, I got tons of content on that. Uh, if you want to check, so I didn't pin it. But I got tons of content on that, my man. Uh, usually when it comes down to stuff like that, that's usually what we do towards the end of the stream. Cause we just, I just get caught up with everybody's sin of the days and say hello for the first, <clears throat> for the first 10 minutes. Then we get into our topic and then towards the end, that's when we start doing stuff like that. So if you want to hang around to the end, I'd love to kind of dive into it a little more with you. If not, got almost 3000 videos on the channel and a bunch of them feature that from year to year, my man. Great sin of the day choice though, as well. Let's see. You got to skip ahead a little bit. Mega mayor from Orto Parisi. Celerio Oros. That's uh, one of the Dumont fragrances, right? Because I got that package coming. It's, it's going to be here tomorrow. Cryptic figure. Good to see you. Amrud Whetstone. Really? What about it? Well, I mean, don't don't tell me because I am I still don't know what the notes are or anything. So I, I can stay blind. Don't tell me yet, actually. But it seems like at least one person likes it. Ver Intense. Good to see you, sir. Aaron Davis. I was looking into one and two. So one is the one to beat for me. That's a orange blossom, tonka bean, and oud. Very unique, beautiful, more versatile than you'll think. Beautiful fragrance. Ohm two is, I guess, a safe the safest of the first two. I just I don't know what's up with three and four yet, other than three supposedly kind of like Tigar with its own twist. I was told it's not colonice or colonice, that it's pronounced another way, but I don't know. Whatever. Good to see you, Enrique. I have my bottle coming from Joma Shop one day. One day I'll get to spray that and see what it finally smells like. Good to see you as well. 
So we just hit the 10 minute mark. We're going to skip ahead. Wulong Cha, that's greatness in a bottle. Versace Porom, the actual king of the office, in my opinion. Spencer, what's going on? I'm leaning more on three. Got that Ty Gardine with some magic to it. It's in today's mind games, Jadob. Wanted EDT Intense. Can't get enough of it right now. I think it's one of the better releases of the year. I think it's pretty good, too. Headed back home from the hotel. You'll be you'll be competing. Okay. 10-4. 10-4. Good to see you, sir. Rocking Edition Blanche on this sunny day. On another note, seen Ashton rocking those snapbacks. Seems like you've done some. I noticed he's been wearing hats a lot more. I was debating on messaging him. Hey, man, is somebody gaining some inspiration from me? I debate. I've. I noticed that because I watched a few of his videos recently and I debated on messaging him saying, hey, somebody seems to like hats a whole lot more these days. So I noticed it too. Shout out to Ashton. Ashton, I'm speaking to now and shout out to Ashton Jensen. That's hilarious. Amir Celestial. See, that's the one I get. That's the Ganymede clone. I couldn't think of the name the other day. That I gave away. It just didn't work on my skin. All right. So let me skip ahead a little bit. I apologize. I'm Skipping some comments right now. I want to get close to the bottom, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Wow, I am way behind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Our resident niche snob has arrived. Divine, good to see you. I'm here for the Kajal lowlights. So, I mean, that it's clearly not highlights for him. So that means they're underwhelming for, for Divine. Serge Lieutenant Borneo, 1834. Never heard of it. I'm sure it's something that only somebody like Divine would like. Um I've never heard of it. I've never looked into it. It's probably uh, quite the niche fragrance, meaning a very targeted crowd, a uh, very high level enthusiast type of scent profile. Is that fair to say? Let me know. So made it to the bottom. Here we go. Always remember pineapple note equals pineapple. That is very true. That is very true, Frankie. Man in Black's actually really good. Two different fragrances in one, though, because it starts off spicy boozy. That's where people relate it to Spice Bomb, the spiciness, and then it dries into a creamy white floral. A lot of tuberose and iris, more tuberose than anything else. So, all right, we are going to stay right there, and naturally, I'm starting with Kajal Om 3. This is the one that I keep getting told is amazing and fantastic and all these beautiful things. So it is the one I am going to start with first. I love that they always come with some samples in the top of the boxes. What do we have here? We have Ferris, the original Ohm, and Ohm 2. That's going to end up, well, both, I'm going to have two of them in here, but those will end up in mystery mystery packs for the members at some point. All right, get this off to the side. The newer bottle style for Ohm. Because the original Ohm is the best looking bottle. It's got the thick metal plate. Love the contrast to it. This is going to be a fingerprint magnet, but same cap as the original Ohm. Their caps are straight up like Ninja Star weapons. All right. Beautiful atomizer. Oh, there's definitely some Tigar relation here. There's no denying that. Spicy citrus grapefruit smell. Yeah, very much. Oh, but there is something different to it. It doesn't smell like it's loaded with Ambroxan, first and foremost. That's the immediate distinction I get is I don't smell Ambroxan. Loads of citrus, though. So this is fresher. And I don't know. I think I'm kind of getting some of that magic that was spoken on earlier in the chat. It's so much more airy. It's not as rich and thick. Like uh, the citrus here is more believable. It doesn't come across as synthetic. And I think it's because of the lack of Ambroxan that I smell. I'm not saying they don't have Ambroxan. I'm saying it's not the bomb of Ambroxan that I get from Tigar. I get plenty of Ambroxan in actual Tigar that I get in Tarathi Blue and that I very much get in North Stag uh, from Paris Corner, which is kind of my favorite inspiration of Tigar at the moment. Um, but that's one of the reasons I really like it. It's got a lot of Ambroxan, whereas this is kind of the yin to that yang, if you will. It's the, the counterpart where it's not loaded with Ambroxan. This is super juicy citrus, though. Easy to like opening. Super easy to like. It's not as spicy. Some green elements to it. 
So there's definitely more going on here than something like Tigar. It's more complex. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying there isn't Ambroxan, but it doesn't overwhelm me with it, which isn't a, a good or a bad thing because I like Ambroxan. I mean, that is some juicy citrus. It's hard to say this early into it, but I might not need Tigar now. This might be the one that did it. Because I do have several good inspirations, dupes, clones, all the, pick a word. This, there's no denying this is inspired by whether it was direct inspiration or happy accident, whatever, it smells like it. Oh, but it's the quality of oils that Kajal you is no, notorious for using. So that's, that's a big one right there. Let's see. Oh, why three didn't come up? Why is three not coming up? It's kind of weird. Let's just go to their website then. What the hell? Oh, because it's not Kajal Ohm three. It's Kajal three. It's the own line, though. Yep, sure as hell. All right, that's weird. Citrus fresh, sweet, floral, fruity. I get a little green. Okay, because of rosemary. That's why I get a little green. It's not as overwhelmingly spicy. They do have Ambroxan. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if there was. It's just not a bomb of it. <sighs> Lemonade Accord. Okay, that's why. That's why it's so much juicier. It's like very mouth-watering citrus, extremely mouth-watering citrus. Ginger, lavender, neroli, rosemary, amber, and broxen, musk, patchouli. This is fantastic. It is. Nah, not as much. I mean, the ginger accord, I guess, is what makes them say it's similar to it. It is a nice dose of ginger. I, I guess I can kind of get the tie into ingenious ginger here. I understand the relation and why it's there, but I mean, I'm surprised Tigar is not there because it definitely smells like Tigar. Oh, man. I'm wearing this tomorrow. I'm wearing it out the shower tonight. 9.5 out of 10 easily. I mean, yes. Some of the best citrus I've ever smelled in an opening because it's so rich. And, and that's the thing is it clearly smells similar to Tigar, but it's not as spicier as Ambroxan filled. That's my takeaway here. It's clear as day that it smells like it. And the quality's here. At least it comes across quality to me. It's that lemonade accord with the ginger. I think that's the magic. Whomever mentioned that there's the magic here, was it Spencer? I think it was Spencer. Spencer, is that the magic you were referring to? The ginger and the lemonade accord? Because you said Tigar plus some magic. Is that the magic? Is that the rabbit in the top hat? Let me know. This is fantastic. Now I get why everybody's told me it's so amazing. I'm good on getting Tigar. Yeah. It's pretty damn good. This opening is amazing. It's damn near to die for. Kind of just juicy citrus. Whew, I can just sniff and sniff and sniff. This is great. Anybody that hasn't tried it. You should. You definitely should. Sure, you're going to spend more than Tarathi Blue. But when you smell it side by side with the Tarathi Blue, you'll smell the, the difference. You will. But maybe you're cool with that for 35 bucks. Tarathi Blue is great. It is. I enjoy it. 9.5. I can just sniff and sniff. Divine, so how much of a 4 out of 10 is it for you? <laughs> is that about what you would rate it? <laughs> Boring, four out of ten kind of thing? I think it's great. Outstanding. It's outstanding to me. Ohm is my face. Ohm is special. The original Ohm, the first one's very special. Before Lamar rolled, Lamar rolled around, that was my favorite from the house. 
Lamar is still the best, though. I mean, you know, three mainstays right there. All right. It can be. Performance is average at best. Uh, average slightly below. I had like four to five hours longevity for me. Nothing crazy. Um, it's like a smoky bar of soap. Fresh, soapy, but kind of dark. Smoke. It's got birch in it. A little smoky. It's good, though. I did not. Ooh. I'm going to need to check that one out. It's finally hot enough for Virgin Island water, and that is greatness in a bottle right there, my man. Answered that already. Easy to like. Imagine Creed Royal Oud with cocoa if you're trying to envision it, but it's poor accessibility and vintage batches are better. Appreciate you elaborating because I've, I've genuinely never heard of it. Royal Oud with cocoa. That's an interesting Interesting description, because Royal Oud is tagged for a lot of people as the best Creed fragrance. A lot of people. You definitely struck my intrigue. Doesn't sound challenging to me. Sounds great, actually. Mr. Ross, any fragrance recommendations for fishing? Literally anything. <laughs> You're fishing. Anything you want to wear. Yeah, right? It very much looks like one. I mean, it wouldn't fly that well. The aerodynamics of it aren't great because it's an actual fragrance cap, but it's got the weight. It's got good enough weight. It's not the heaviest thing in the world, but it's metal. It's got relatively sharp edges and a shape similar. Boss Ball Nights, Spring Summer, L1212 Intense. Good stuff. To increase most something like Sumo Oriental. Okay. Somebody decided they wanted to come flex on us with how great they smell. Mind Games French Defense, excellent choice. Yeah, this is this is phenomenal. I'm gonna get caught up in the chat real quick. Um, three for three and four for four. Yeah, I know, I know it's good, but I didn't I didn't know they um, didn't have Ohm in there. That's why it wasn't coming up because I did, instead of typing Kajal three, I typed Kajal Ohm three, so it wouldn't it didn't come up. Whoops, come on down. Mr. Clark's wearing Signature Bloom. Excellent choice. Let him know, Joel. Sally, good to see you. I've never tried that one. Ingenious is also a Tiger inspiration. Tiger in the note, in the votes. You just don't see it on the right when the votes are strongly in either direction. Okay, that's fair. Didn't know that. Are you talking about Trograntica? Because I'm not on there. Because I, I just see what it says, the similar section right here. As far as like what voting are you talking about for similar to rate notes and then they have the written review so here's the charts hmm. Hmm. Don't know. oh as far as ingenious ginger i'm tripping which yeah there's tarathi blue and vibrato which is, but it's much more ginger dominant, obviously. It's even in the name, but it's a very bright ginger with the citrus isn't as much of a star star uh, star of the show. I don't know why I couldn't get that out versus everything else that smells like Tigar is mainly about the citrus. This mainly about the citrus, but I definitely get the ginger. Ooh, I get it a lot more now. It's becoming ginger dominant. Close enough, Kajal. Three is a third of the price. Yeah. Oh, it deserves it. It's an easy, easy nine point. Any of you that know my taste, you had to know I was going to like this a lot. And rate. Any of you that have smelled it, you had to know I was going to really like this. My man, Randy, what's going on? Wearing business over pleasure and smelling good. I hope you're doing amazing. I know you're smelling amazing, and I'm definitely doing amazing as well. Hope you're doing good. Got to set up our live stream later this evening. So tomorrow it is Randy and Dedrick are going to be on here. We did our decant swap. We'll be doing that tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central for everybody. Rochas Moustache Eau de Parfum. It's great. That's the magic. So that's the magic you were referring to, this ginger and lemonade, because it it definitely gives it an edge to me versus the other ones that smell like this. Not really, because sometimes when I'm talking about clones versus originals, I always talk about the originals have that magic that the clones can't capture. Um, this kind of has some magic all on its own, because it's kind of a clone. It kind of is. <laughs> I mean, there's no denying it here because it very much smells like Tigar, but I get more green to it, even though they didn't rank green as one of the main accords. Like that rosemary stands out to me. Ginger very much stands out to me. 
big time now. Loads of ginger, dare I say, at this point. So vibrato's more juicy citrus fruit. Like there's other fruits mixed with it. I think this opening, it's hard to say one's better than the other as far as the opening. It's its comparing the dry downs is what it's going to come down to. And I'm a sucker for a good ginger note, just like I am incense. When it comes to like a brighter, crisp ginger, that's the ginger notes I prefer versus the more creamy, warm, and spicy ginger notes. This is more crisp and bright. So this is more the style of ginger usage in a fragrance that I like or the way it's blended with other notes to create this type of accord. This speaks to me more. So I would say in the overall, maybe slightly prefer this one, but vibrato is phenomenal. If you have vibrato, you don't need this. If you have this, you don't need vibrato though. I don't think one's better than the other truly. It just comes down to taste. I think if you want more ginger, you go with this one. If you want more fruits and citrus, you go with vibrato. I think it's that simple. It's got what well, all of their fragrances seem to have really good longevity. So I'm not surprised to read that. Oh yeah. Juan would love this because Juan, Juan loves Tigar. That's his favorite fragrance. At least as far as I know, unless it changed very recently, that's Juan's favorite is Tigar. Oh, it traditionally has been. So yeah, Juan would love this. I would think he's tried it. The worst of anyone he's tried. So maybe not even a four, maybe a negative one out of 10 for you then. It does everything worse than Vibrato, Ingenious, and Tigar. Green Flare traded for less sweetness and freshness, but why? So there you go, guys. If you ever want somebody to truly shit on a fragrance you like, ask Divine about it. Or at least a fragrance I like. Maybe not one that you guys like. Because I'm sitting here saying 9.5. I love it. It's my kind of jam. And he's like, it is the worst. Total poo emoji kind of fragrance here. for Divine. I love when Divine's here. Because it's very much... Polar opposites most of the time with he and I, because I like a lot of the mass appeal and stuff, and he's very critical on stuff that's mass appealing. You just saw it, because this is super mass appealing, and he's super critical on it. But it's his opinion. He's right to it. I'm not right. He's not right. I'm not wrong. He's not wrong. We just, we just got different tastes is what it comes down to. Kajal Ohm 3, or Kajal 3. But it's Kajal Om 3, technically. That is business over pleasure. My first fragrance was Zaharoff. Never heard of that one. So I have tried that. I don't think it's as good as this. I think Arrakis or Arrakis, however you say it, I think it's uh I think it's a little bit better than like a Tarathi Blue and um and North Stag, uh. Quality is better, so it is better. But I think for just a you know right around the same price from discount as you can get this, I'd, I'd rather have this. But if you have Spirit of Kings fragrance, you don't need this. You don't need vibrato. You don't need Tigar because <laughs> I do have a decant of it. It is it is really good. I think it's pretty airy. I don't think it's heavy. It doesn't come across heavy to me. It's very bright, very bright fragrance. I'm a fan. It hurts my heart that that Divine hates it so much because that's hate. It's the worst of the bunch. That's hate. He hates it. Um, he might not hate it. I'm, maybe I'm stretching it a little bit, but he did shit all over it just now. But uh, I quite enjoy it. Like I said, I'm, uh, I'm at least wearing it tomorrow might even wear it out the shower because i mean i took a shower a little while ago but i'm still i like to take a shower before bed i like to be nice and crisp and clean before i get in the covers you know so good to see you as well loam edl sport you want to talk about an all-time underrated flanker i think that has never gotten its just due i think the weirdness of it being a watery aquatic with a heavy almond dose from that dna Gives it so much charm. I haven't wore that one in such a long time. Man, you get the first soft live stream clap. Great choice. Excellent choice, in my opinion. All right. Scroll down a little bit. Really good, but I'd take Vibrato over this one. But for the price, Kajal 3 is a win. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's going to have a different tip. There's, 
there's a, a scoop of ice cream flavor for everybody. It's like Baskin Robbins when it comes to this DNA. There's 31 flavors and everybody likes a different flavor. That's it's it's in many ways like Aventus. Everybody's kind of got their Tigar at this point. Not everybody, but a lot of companies do, including niche like Kajal. So I get it. Vibrato is amazing. I still want a bottle. I still want a bottle. My decant's right here. I still want a bottle. Even though I don't need a bottle. I've got so much redundancy back there. This is worth the redundancy to me. One fragrance that made me feel sick after I smelled it. I think that's the one. We're going to check that one out next. It's right here. It's all four. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. I talked about Nordstag uh, today in today's video. And I had somebody ask me, I thought we weren't saying the C word anymore. It's iffy, but it's not as iffy as the ripoff bottles. The ripoff, the blatant ripoff bottles, that's the real problem, which I had talked about in that live stream. That's the real problem. Because I did use the C word in today's title. I did use it. That's uh, not the most, like, dangerous thing to do it's those it's those ripoff bottles those companies aren't playing around with anymore which i've have, i said in the last live stream when we talked about this i i get it they can't copyright these formulas but boy they can sure copyright their bottle designs which they are copyrighted so mm, yeah i never liked the ripping off of the bottles anyways i've said it in every review that where they have the ripoff bottle eh, blatant ripoff here Okay, Kajal 3 for 110 That's a great price. Ooh, that's a good one. I haven't worn it in a little while. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get into the very early stages of it. Like if we do another hour to the hour and a half mark, I mean, it'll be an hour and a half. I've had it on, on almost. That's not really into the dry down, but it's early stages. Send of the day is a drop. I've never heard of it, but it is great to see Kathy. If you go below ratings. Oh, so I don't have an account. That's why, because I'm not logged in. That's what it is. Yeah, because I, I I never created an account with them. Now I know. Thank you for enlightening me, sir. I have to go back and check out Ingenious Gin. Your mind smelled like alcohol for the first three weeks. Really? Went nose blind for three minutes after hope. Damn. And see, with the first time I smelled it, it was very bright. Eric, good to see you. Hibiscus Majad. I've never tried that one. Very much so. I, I mean, I'm, I've been wanting to smell it. I've heard nothing but great things up until Divine. Literally while I'm smelling it is <laughs> the first time I heard something negative. Um, it's, it's a beautiful fragrance. It really is. If you like citrus, grapefruit, lemonade, grapefruit and lemonade. That's it's wild. So grapefruit and lemon, thick lemon, um, ginger, a little bit of green from the rosemary, a little bit of green. And some ambroxan, but not much. But that rosemary is contributing to the spice, I think, just as much as the ginger is. Because it doesn't come across as peppered. There's a clear spiciness, but it's not like super spicy like some of the other versions of, of the DNA that I have. So skipping ahead a little bit. I might be the only person voting on the course. No, I'm sure others do. If you want Ethereum, all fives equals me. <laughs> as bold as I find Vibrato, one of the best fragrances of all time, as a lot of people have rated it there. And I'm not like I said before, I don't think one's better than the other, really. It's just a it's like like I said, Baskin Robbins 31 flavors. Which flavor do you like more? They're both great. <laughs> What's going on, MG? Good to see you. Alexander Hefe Cigar. That's the best one in the Hefe's line. I would say second favorite for me would be Hefe's Gold. Good stuff. Excellent choice. I don't know. I haven't looked. Come on now. Skip. Come on, Skip. Skip. I got to be Shannon. I'm sorry. He's got to be Skip. <laughs> I got to be Shannon in that situation. Come on, Skip. Just have to stick with it. Good to see you, sir. <laughs> No point in buying Kajal 3 if you own Ingenious or Vibrato. I, I agree. I agree. I just want to. Just do a comparison with the bottles and just kind of to have. It's it's 
just a weird thing where I, I embrace redundancy a lot of the times. I just do. It smells a bit greener and less sweet. Trug. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm exaggerating. When you show up, I go over the top a little bit just to, just to mess with you a little bit because I don't get you in the live streams all that much. So I like to just poke and have a little fun with you because we're so different with our with our uh, thought process on some of these fragrances. And I, I love when it's this split between us like this. It, it makes for some fun on the live stream. All love with me and you, my man. All love. I just like giving you a hard time. Somebody drops 2.30. Quasi dupe. That's why I get excited about it. It's fair. See, like, everybody's very split on it. Yes, sir. Oh, Lamar is still the best to me. To me, my favorite from the house is still Lamar. That's going to be hard to top. That's going to be very hard to top. This is now my second favorite from them, though. This jumps over Kajal Ohm, the first one, and uh, in Ferris. I like the versatile ones. Can you tell? Masa's great, too. Love Masa. Altair, good to see. The must-have, but they're not the same profile. Yeah, definitely not. I'm trying to get caught up. I'm very much. Kix Griffey, good to see you, my man. Mystery Tobacco, FW Wolfpack for life. Yeah, I have three orders they haven't shipped. One from the second, one from the fifth, and one from a few days ago that we did on the live stream. So, yeah. A drop is Issy Mia. Oh, I know the bottle. It looks kind of like the uh, Bulgari Aqua bottles. Now I know what you're talking about. Thank you. All right. So $89. Damn. All right. So let's go ahead and get into Kajal 4. I want to check this one out. Makes Selly nauseous. That's interesting. So this is in the same, same set. So we could all own one and two and Ferris on the samples. So I'll split those up. So the next two months of mystery packs, each one, it's not as much of a mystery, but each the next two months, this is going to be part of the mystery pack. I might as well. it will be nice for somebody to check out. Well, I mean, I might as well show it to you guys. For those of you that haven't seen their sample sets like this before. Oh, wrong side. I need to open this side. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass to open. I don't want to rip the damn thing. Yeah, so I'm not going to show it to you because I don't want to rip it because it's it's tucked in really well, and I would tear part of the cardboard to get it open. So see if the other one pops open a little easier. It does. Okay. They are pretty nice little presentations. So comes with a booklet with all their stuff, a little, little card to spray on shaped like the cap, and then you have the three atomizers right here. They're tucked in there, quality quality atomizers. So they give you a nice little presentation with the free samples, and they're labeled. You see right in there, home too. So they are labeled. It's all about the little details and the extra stuff, you know. I want to get caught in that book. I'll deal with that later. I don't want to hold up the stream too much over something so trivial. So here we go. Ohm 4. That smells animalic and leathery. Ooh. Chocolate and leather? I don't know. That's what it smells like. Like it leaked a little bit, maybe? It did. Ooh, yeah, that's animalic. Such good atomizers. Okay. I'm excited now. Just because Sally didn't like it doesn't mean I won't. Ooh, it's nice and spicy. It's definitely a leather accord. It's actually quite animalic. Okay, then. It's like this musky, like very rough and tumble, edgy type of leather accord. Like I said, it's got an animalistic tone to it, like, Pretty hefty. If you don't like animalics, you might not like this one. Something very attractive about this profile, though. It's not knock your socks off mass appealing kind of stuff like bright citrus and ginger. It's good stuff, though. Hmm. I'm curious about this note breakdown right now. I'm assuming that's it. Spicy leathery, you know shit. Sweet smoky oriental. Black currant cardamom, Davana, rum, leather jasmine, palm blossom. 
cola, cola date, so dates, but a, a specific type of dates, woods, musk, and vanilla. So I get plenty of this cardamom leather, and that rum makes sense. And it's not super sweet, but there's a sweetness. Musky, sure. It's not crazy sweet. I'm sure it'll develop into more sweetness, especially having vanilla and dates in the base. Even though we got Devon in the opening, it's not a big, thick, sweet bomb at the top. It's gotten a lot smoother from that initial spray. That initial spray was very rough and edgy, but it got really smooth really fast. It's getting smoky. Sally, I know you didn't care for it and made you nauseous or whatever. This is a banger, I think. If you like leather, doesn't remind me of any other leather fragrance. That's why I'm saying banger. It smells really good to me. It's pleasing to the nostrils and the senses. But it doesn't remind me of another leather fragrance. It's crazy to think how edgy and rough it was in the opening spray and it's completely the opposite now it's rich and smooth maybe it was the alcohol playing a role i don't know my rating is going to be higher than this 7.6 out of 10 but it's also not going to be a 9.5 either because this is a great fragrance it's a situational fragrance but I don't feel like it has to be reserved to dressy occasions and evenings. I think cooler weather, daytime, it's totally fine. Semi-casual kind of stuff. Maybe not the best option for a, just a t-shirt, but sweetness is coming through more and more. So is this smoky accord. 8.5, great. For this opening, yeah, it's a great opening. It smells great. Let's go with great, 8.5. It's my kind of jam. I don't think it's challenging at all. No. If anything, I think, and this is going to sound crazy to some of you to smell both, I think ombre leather is a little bit more of a challenge than this. And they're not the same leather fragrance. I don't say that like they're the same, but I feel like that might be a little more difficult for some people to wear than this. It's getting much smokier. I think that's kind of swaying me too. It's getting smokier every time I go back to it. Yay me. I think comparatively to one and two versus three and four, I think three and four is the better, better duo. One is my favorite between one and two. Three is my favorite between three and four. But if you look at the pair, because they came out, one and two were kind of spread apart, but these weren't spread apart. Look at them as pairs, basically. I think this is the better pairing. Very much your daytime, casual, anytime fragrance, dressier evenings, cooler weather. It's a wardrobe right here these two fragrances i think it's a great pairing definitely worth trying 9.5 8.5 for my taste anyways yeah I'm, I'm a fan i'm definitely a fan anybody else feel that way about kajal four mm, definitely not the same no that's way more the, of a challenge than this is This is way smoother, too. Hmm, that's a lot more pungent. I have not. I've never tried them. Yeah, I'm, I'm not buying from them again. I'm guessing you saw my tangent in the opening. I got three orders in limbo right now, all the way from 13 days ago for the first one. And it doesn't say one to two weeks to ship. It said one to three days from the start. So... Lamar definitely looks interesting. I was watching a video from when you first got it. So I actually did the launch video for it. I was the first person to put a video out. They gave me the pleasure of doing that. Yeah, Lamar's amazing. That video, man, I lived in Texas back when that came out. That was in 2020. 
when that fragrance came out. So I didn't move to Colorado till uh, November of 2020. Burlington 1819 came today. Man, oh man, can't wait for the full wearing experience. Just spritz on the hand and pff, I'm very impressed. What was your initial rating? That's a 9.5. Yeah, I call that one a masterpiece all the time. Most of the time, 9.5 for me. For the longest, up until I finally gave that one 10 out of 10 and I've given three 9.75s since, 9.5 was always my 10 because I feel like it's pretty hard to find a perfect fragrance. And there is no per what's perfect for me isn't going to be perfect for you, which is why a solo blue is perfect for me. And I might be the only person that feels that it's a 10 out of 10. And just for me, if there's the one fragrance that through and through is perfect for me every day for the rest of my life, if I wanted it to be for every situation, it's a solo blue. That's why it's the only 10 out of 10 I've ever done. God, this is good. There's a really good take on Tiger. It's called African Leopard. No, this is definitely not a summer fragrance. This is going to get shelved, and I'm not going to touch it again for probably six months. And then i got to remember to pull it out and spray it because I have just so many fragrances. I like it, though. My K4 in December blend quality was lackluster. Why am I not surprised you didn't care for this one? To me, but the more you're in the fragrance game, the more you get expensive taste. I mean, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Way too strong for me. I mean, that's definitely not one I would want to spray heavy. Maybe just hand overall gorgeous for the price. I mean, K4 is a woody leather base with a sweet medicinal amber over the top. Not too animalic. It, see, it started animalic. It changed greatly within moments. It was just that initial spray. Medicinal feel kind of gave, gave off that TBF, to be fair. Okay. I get where you're coming from with that medicinal vibe. It's not too heavy for me, but the initial spritz was where it got animalic, but it changed It changed so rapidly. Um, it's smooth. It's sweeter. Uh, it's very smoky at this point. The wood's creeping in a little bit. Uh, it's not overly musky. And I wouldn't call it super sweet, but this, it's much sweeter than it was in that initial blast. It's smokier than it is sweet on me. don't really have one. I'm not allowed to get wild with my cheat days because I don't have cheat days. I have high carb days. Like literally Saturday, I had a high carb day. And uh, for me, it was a Kodiak power waff, power pancake with sugar free syrup, fake syrup, basically. That was the cheat. Everything else was just adding rice to meals. We went to Texas Roadhouse. I had a filet with a sweet potato. No butter. I had one one with one of the breads. It was overly buttered. That's why I took the butter out, and I had a Caesar salad. That was my cheats for those days. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, wild, big wild stuff. I can't. I still, I still got some trimming down to do. Uh, I mean, I'm still sick, over six weeks out, but it's, it's got to be serious with it. So no, uh, you don't need to fall off the wagon one day to throw it because it took 15 days for me to get that high carb day. And you don't want to throw 15 days of, of dropping and, and leaning out and hard effort and hungry all the time, low energy to throw it away over some candy and shit like that or heavy pasta and, you know, just stuff I didn't need to eat. So I'm going to take it serious. You know, I take it very serious. It's kind of, It changed pretty rapidly for me, but it's kind of been the same ever since that initial change. But I mean, it's only been a few minutes. I don't know. I've never tried it. Linear is a good word. Let's go with five out of 10. I think that's him being nice. Honestly, I think if, I think if it was someone else and not me kind of joking around with him, I think he would have rated it lower. I just have a feeling. I think he's just being nice with me. Is that fair divine? We're in the woods climbing a snow capped mountain. Let the wolves know. I mean, business. There you go, Spencer. Had to hop out to work, hop back, but it seems like both ended up being big hits for me. Yeah, 8.5 and a 9.5. And speaking of Hoffman Virtual Photography, either Thursday or Friday, we're going to do that Ital Libre Durant discovery set. We're just going to pick random ones. Um, when I set it up, I'll send you the link and let you know what time it's going to be so you can try to be here. And I know there's specific ones you want me to try, and I'll try those specific ones. You just let me know which ones, and I'll, I'll we'll do those. You know, I mean, you bought the discovery set. Of so, of course, I'm going to do whichever ones you want me to do. 
Paris Corners Tudor. Never tried it. A little warm staying here in Kentucky, but this smells great off my skin. Not cloying at all. No, but I've wanted to. I know that's kind of like a Virgin Island water. I've always wanted to try that. And Gorse. I've never tried Gorse either. See, high level redundancy for somebody that has Virgin Island water, but I've always just wanted to experience those. Yeah, you get start with one of the two steam easier. FWO for life, hell yeah. Most phenomenal. Most salt of the earth. He's such a great guy. Very much. He's a giant sweetheart. Mo's great, great guy. Yeah, fragrance nets legit. They've been around a long, long time. Ralph Lauren Safari, modern classic. Well, not all that modern, but classic. Definitely a classic. Good to see you, Darren Jay. Let him know, Edgar. I appreciate that. That's two good ones. Isn't that strong? So I might try Kajal 3 after his first impressions. It's worth getting a little sample and checking it out. I mean, if you like Tigar, you're going to like this more than likely. Oh, man, there it is. But because y'all four, it's smoky leather, but it's a smooth leather. It started off rough leather. Now it's a slightly sweeter, but very smoky. It's not really all that boozy, though. The rum, I guess, is just adding to the sweetness. It's not really all that boozy. Noted. Rise of Adonis from Dua. Just joining. What should be my first Kajal fragrance? I would advise getting one of their discovery sets for their different collections. They have a discovery set for the Ohm collection, for the Warday collection, um, and for the Fida collection. Yeah, for their three different collections, they have uh, discovery sets. I would encourage getting one of their discovery sets. It's very good. It's very good. Uh, Beast, nah, maybe not so much Beast, but above average. I would say above average performance for sure. It smells great. That's exactly what it is. It's labeled high carb slash refeed day. That's exactly what it is, Define. It's a refeed day. I'm just restoring glycogen to burn off because she's spreading them out more because it was every 10 days I was getting one. Now it's every fifth. This was the first time we went a 15 day stretch. I have a feeling that's going to be the case again. It's as needed. It's not a set schedule for when I'm going to get them. It's as needed. Um, I would say within three, within three times. And it doesn't even have to be full wearings. It could be test sprays of me just going back to it because, I mean, it's still being worn on my skin. Because um, because I'm going to start with test sprays to see if I want to put multiple sprays on me and kind of live in that sillage, you know. My wife wore it a couple of days ago. It is spicy Neroli Portofino. She wore it Saturday when we went to uh, to Texas Roadhouse, actually. Yeah, that's what she wore. She was ahead of me on the stairs like, oh, you're wearing lazuli. She said, yeah, the blue bottle with the gold plate. She said, I don't remember what it's called. I said, yes, that. that I could tell that's what you were wearing. It smells incredible. If you like Neroli Portofino, add some spice. You have lazuli. It smells great on my wife. She loves Neroli Portofino, so I naturally let her take that bottle. Because I'll just wear a Neroli canvas from out here of mine. I don't need multiple ones. I don't like Neroli Portofino as much as she does. I like it. She loves it. So she's got multiple things that smell like Neroli Portofino. Certainly. So three is my least favorite. That's the one that's like imagination. But four, I wear all the time. I talked about it in today's video. I love it. The, the one that smells like afternoon swim, bright orange, juicy, clean, musky, so bright and fresh. My trees, good to see you, my guy. Not inflating ratings. I'm already annoyed by everything being 10 out of 10. So I'm trying to push average product down in the ratings. So special stuff stands out. That's, hey, man, that's fighting the good fight, though. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. I hoard, I hoard the tens. But I find a lot of stuff to be very good or great for my taste. That's why you see a lot of sevens and eights from me. Once in a while, you'll see fives and sixes. Not too often you see sub five. I really don't like something if it's under five. It happens. It just doesn't happen often. Wait. Didn't you care for me? Oh, that was uh, Versace Dylan Blue. It took me like five wearings for that to come around. 
I did not like it the first five times I gave it a chance. And I kept going back to it because I was just like, why does everybody like this so much? I was just so confused. I was like, maybe it's got to be me. Why does everyone love this but me? I love it now. I love it. It's totally, it just had to grow on me. <clears throat> it was very much an acquired taste. Some fragrances like that. <laughs> I'll just stick with Hoffman, yeah. Home in the office wearing black gold. Damn good choice. Good to see you. I have Virgin Island Gorse and I have Virgin Island Water. Also, Gorse is good every day, but much better performance. Smells 90% close. I've been wanting to try it. It's been around for years now. <clears throat> Wild leather, very smooth. Nice licorice accord. I do like a good licorice accord in a fragrance. So I gotta say, Savage Elixir got three compliments on my one wearing work Friday. The OG and doesn't perform at all. I did not. I would have if I would have known about that. Fifteen dollars, damn. Got one ten across the seven fifty ranked on Parfumo, with half a dozen nine point fives within the last two weeks. I gave ten serves a ten cents below a five, and I gave three even a one point five out of ten. Shit. Hey man, that's not a bad thing though. It's a good thing. We need some people that are overly critical. I'm not overly critical unless I feel like it deserves it. If it doesn't work for me, then it's going to get some heavier criticism. Like uh, when I got Oceanic Edition from Cool Water last year, I shit all over that fragrance because <laughs> it was terrible. It smelled like actual fresh water and body odor. It smelled like a high school locker room after a football game. It was awful. See, I shit on a fragrance once in a while. It just doesn't happen often. But that was the worst fragrance release last year to me. One of the worst I've ever smelled. And I tried a couple of times. This is just awful. Even spraying out in the air, I got that body odor. So it wasn't a skin chemistry thing. Very friends, and they have to call on an 11 out of 10. That's fair. Original Penguin, original blend. The blue with the red cap, that's my favorite Penguin fragrance. Love Kajal Om, which is my first niche. I'm going to have to get samples of three and four. Both sound up my alley. It's a tuxedo clone. Okay, I did not know that. No, no, it's not. He's not hating. He's just critical. I, lo I love Divine. I See, he adds, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Diversity in our little group here on the live stream, he adds a certain level of diversity because he's so critical and he's very much into niche, like very much into niche. I love having him here. He's been around for a long time. He doesn't show up all the time, but he shows up and he always makes his presence known. And it's a joy for me to have him here. I love having divine here. And sometimes I give him a harder time than others, but he's a great sport. He knows his shit. And he's, he's, I say overly critical for him. He's just being critical. You know, he wants something special to be special. And if it's not special, it's on the chopping block. I respect that. I very much appreciate that. So, yeah, not a hater. Doing great things. I love it. This be live video. I need to be wide awake at this time. I, I sure appreciate that. I know it's late where you are. Chopping on Divine has carved this place in the stream for sure. Hell yeah. Got told I smell like B.O. the other day and I was wearing Dior own Parfum. May have oversprayed. It's easy. To, it's easy to be too strong with that one, but damn, that hurts my heart to hear. Cause oh, damn, that hurt a little bit. I got a fresh tattoo right there. Um, damn, stop touching it. That hurts. I literally got it yesterday. Even it hurts. Sensitive skin still. Um, yeah, that's that's a masterpiece to me. So that that hurts my heart to hear that. Working late. Hi all. Eros flame. The best of the Eros is in my opinion. Good to see you, John Carlo. So we got everything done in less than an hour. We just chop it up and talk for a little bit. Anybody have anything in particular they want to discuss? I mean, I'd, I'd be down to have them on. That'd be, I think that'd be quite fun. Under shower. No, I'm, uh, I'm trying to figure out what you mean, but I mean, I'm going to be taking a second shower in a little while. It's a Patriots fan, so he's hung over from the Brady years. It'll take a while before joy enters his life again. I mean, hey, man, the Saints suck, too. I'm not going to say shit. We are hopeless for a Super Bowl run for the foreseeable future. So I'm not going to say nothing. Kara, good to see you wearing Sadrap Wise. I'm one of my favorites. Ah, son of a bitch, I hit it again. One of my favorites. Maybe you undersprayed and the BO came through. Oh, no, no. I just sprayed it out in the air. I could smell that shit, too. It was awful. 
That's okay. That's okay. You can always scroll back. I'll just catch you up real quick. Kajal 4. Start off rough and tumble, but it's a very smooth, slightly sweet, but very smoky leather. And then Kajal 3. Straight up ginger, lemon, less Ambroxan, Tigar. 9.5. 8.5. 9.5. Wearing this tomorrow. Absolutely. Might wear it later, actually. It smells great. A retired golfer is now like Gronk. Have a good one, Roy. It was great to have you here. Royal Crown Sultan. I have heard that's special. Who applied overspray with BO comment? Damn, I have a knack for making making confusing comments in the chat. Yeah, clearly. Because I was confused. The pear potion green bottle. Something but to be honest, I don't like it much. I'm kind of surprised. It's a very easygoing fragrance. I think it, I, I assumed it was easy to like. I think it is, anyways. Mm, I haven't tried Harrods Oud. I have Harrods Parfum Pour Homme. And it is spectacular to me, anyways. I don't know how divine feels, but it's one of the best sweet citruses I've ever smelled. Crazy concentration, too. That stuff, the sillage is immense. It lasts forever. You have to scrub it off. But I've never tried Herod's Oud from them. I know one thing. I can't wait to try my bright leather. Ferragamo, that's a good one. Definitely a good one. Hurt my heart, too. Shut off. Not done 18 sprays. <laughs> Just made a decant's order, a decant X order. Mancera Royal Vanilla Vanille Exclusive, Cedrap Boise, Montal Wood and Spices, Ani X, L'Homme Ideal Intense. So if I had to pick a favorite among all of this, believe it or not, Cedrap Boise isn't the one. It would be L'Homme Ideal Intense. That is magnificent. My trusty travel atomizer is right here as always. I just randomly pull the cap and smell it. Smoky leather, sweet almond. I still think it's it's still my favorite of the Guerlain Lome EDL line. I definitely need to try the Parfum. That's got hope to beat it. The Extreme got really close to beating it. It's, it's right there on its tail. Some days I might tell you the Extreme is my favorite, but it's between the Lintense and the Extreme. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's an under, at least for me, hell of a compliment getter. Pretty much every time I wear it. I don't wear it all that much. There was a sum, two summers where I spent a lot of time with it and compliments every time I wore it. Wear it when you're going somewhere, when you're going out and about. Certain ones, certain ones would be, but I mean, stuff like Kajal 3, hell no. Super easy, easy to wear, bright, fresh citrus. Anybody can wear that. Any age. Mm -mm. It depends on the scent profile, really. And like Kajal Ferris, same thing. It's kind of like a higher quality Sauvage type of aroma. Nothing old man about Sauvage. Though I've heard somebody say in the past in comments that Sauvage is an old man smell. Like, what? What? I disagree. Blue Bottle finally got that at Ross. Ross Club EDP for 40 bucks. That's a great price. I'm sure some did. I warned you guys. It's very, very white floral heavy. Very much. A legend in my own mind. There you go. Nitro white just arrived. Haven't opened it yet. My bottle will be here. To I keep getting, I keep getting told I'm going to like it. I'm keep getting, keep getting requests to review that one next. So I'm going to start with that one in that package. I'm starting with nitro white. That's going to be the first one I review because it keeps getting brought up. I wore red yesterday, and uh, great. Love red. I've never tried anything from them. Full of blue yesterday, immediately had to buy it. Great marine scent, similar to Oud Mineral, but has its own defined character. Totally agree. The only one I don't have is Platine Privé and the new Parfum that I just haven't had access to yet, but I'm definitely getting that one. Definitely a big influence on my collection and how I look at fragrances now. Thank you so much. Well, Tommy, I appreciate the vote of confidence and the trust, in my opinion. I hope more times than not I steer you in the right direction to some good stuff. Always try to sample when available, though, my man. Never 
if I could give you one more piece of advice that I hope you take to heart is never just buy something because I like it. Try to limit that as much as you can. I know there's people that do it. And I, look, I get it. I'm flattered. I'm flattered by that. But try not to buy it just because I like it. Always try to, you know, smell it for yourself first before you commit to spending all the money, even if it's something 30 bucks, which is not easy to sample stuff that's usually in the $30 price point. I get it. But man, I appreciate the kind words and uh, good to have you, my man. Super underrated. It kind of is. It's got the fruitiness and the sweetness, but it's also got kind of the patchouli of Profumo. Like if you take the incense away, if you add the the, the opening of Invictus Aqua and the, a little bit of the dry down of Profumo with the Aqua de Jo DNA is kind of what absolutely is. That's beautiful. The cherry note in that is amazing. Smell. Oh, Sauvage, classic elegance. Now, that's more of an old man smell, but I think it's a great old man smell, personally. I think that's timeless citrus aromatic. It's divine. Oh, low media EP. Okay. Yeah, shout out to my man, Dedrick. He texted me uh, a little while ago that Rhea is supposedly relinquishing the women's title because she's got to have surgery on her shoulder. <sighs> I hope they're working us. Supposedly tonight she's relinquishing the title on Raw. That's not what I wanted to hear. I don't know. I haven't looked at the notes. I just keep getting told that I to, you know, please review it. You need to try it. You would like it. Okay, next one I do is gonna be that. Fragrance World got some new coffee collection series. I did see those, which has five, six cents Irish coffee, Kawa. Directly be smoke clone to Killian's Black Phantom and Intoxicate. Noted. Yeah, I saw, um, I think they stopped them not long ago at Fragrance Buy. Do try it. I can't make any promises either way. Like yes and no. It's Let's put it at maybe. Maybe. It depends on when the mood strikes me when I'm making an order. Because uh, next week, because I pushed off the order I'm going to make from them till next week. Because I'm going to wait till the voting closes. 20th, 21st, roughly, we'll close the voting on um, on the member votes because I'm going to just buy the stuff I need to buy in the same order of getting the stuff that I already want to get for myself. Since love, you can't stand. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what Dedrick texted me earlier. He sent me the article. It's not shit. Hmm. For me, because of its just immense power that it's so overwhelming, is uh, is Dark Orchid from Amarud. It's literally the strongest fragrance I have. Um, and not everybody, it, it'll be that strong for them. But Dark Orchid from Amarud, like one spray fills a room off of me. It literally smells like a higher quality Black Orchid from Tom Ford. It's a truffle, one of those truffle fragrances. It smells just like it. Quality's a little bit better. And I mean, it's ridiculously strong. I've worn it twice. It's crazy. That's something I would wear to a black tie event. You know how often I go to something like that? That's something I would go to an upscale event, which one of the two wearings was to an upscale event. The other wearing was the first time I wore it. And I was like, ooh, it's too much. It's only a challenge because it's so immensely strong. I just can't wear it for just anything. It's not that the scent profile is too much for me. It's just the power's just too much. The profile is not an everyday thing either, though. Natural platinum as well. I won't tell you what it smells like. Yeah, please don't. Because I'm going to get to try all of them. I got a big package with, package with um, probably all the nitros, I would think. And the Celerio line, some of those as well. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of collaboration reviews of Perfume Box upcoming. They sent me a bunch of stuff that's coming this way. There we go. Another one giving the vote of confidence. I spent much time with platinum. Yeah, I love red. I literally wore it again yesterday. No, I haven't tried that one from Goldfield and Banks. I'm, I'm limited on what I've tried Pacific Rock Moss. I've never tried Bohemian Lime or Silky Woods. Um, Purple Suede, obviously, because I have that. I'm trying to think. Ingenious Ginger. I think that's all I've tried from them. Most challenging was YSL Kuros. I've heard stories about that. I've heard the whole urinal cake thing and all that stuff. 
I don't know how accurate that is. But uh, we're, we're hanging at the bottom here. We're pretty caught up. I see we got 120 people in the chat still currently. Unless anybody's got anything in particular, I think we'll go ahead and call it a stream. Uh, we have a pretty good one lined up for tomorrow evening. I've heard good things. I've been debating on getting it. I've never tried that one. DJ, good to see you. Appreciate that. From which house are these two that you just reviewed? These are from Kajal Perfumes. Spelled as such. Kajal Perfumes. Yep. Bohemian Lime is fantastic. I'd like to ask you and Dedrick, now that you have a wrestling name, what would be, we haven't even discussed the theme song, man. <laughs> you got to put me and Dedrick on the spot. That's how we got FWO, right? Um, you got to put me and Dedrick on the spot next time we're on camera together. Maybe, maybe at some point in the stream tomorrow, that might be the time to do it. Most challenging, probably Amwa's Silver Ood. Never forget when Justin got on the stream and sat there for an hour trying to find an angle to make it sound good. <laughs> I know he didn't care for King Blue. Oh, there you go. It was for King Blue, which was more of a wearable. See, at first he didn't like it, but it grew on him pretty quickly. Silky Woods Elixir. I was sleeping. I think Justin's actually got both. Silky Woods and Silky Woods Elixir. I know he's got Silky Woods Elixir for sure. How you feeling on the Bloom feedback? Most are saying it's not as fan. I've seen majority saying that. I had to do my due diligence to let you guys know because there are people that it was just going to be too feminine for. The diehards that love Zaharoff and buy every fragrance, yeah, it wasn't going to be too much for them because, yeah, I mean, they like rosé and black robes. And, you know what I mean? Heavy floral fragrances. But this is a different type of floral. So I knew there were some. I even saw somebody say that they find it's quite masculine. Reminds them the opening a little bit of Reflection Man. Now, I don't get any Reflection Man from it, but, I mean, if you're calling it masculine... I'm glad you enjoy it because I quite enjoy it. My wife loves it. It's literally her favorite fragrance right now. Like I said, she was heavy. And, she was just as heavy in the testing process as I was. Um, I would do a little testing, then she would finish the lab sample. Happened with every rendition, uh, which there wasn't a lot of renditions. Only three. Yeah, three renditions. Or two when I had to get a refill on one of the renditions because she went through it so quickly. She loves it. So, uh Bloom, it's well needed in the collection. It kind of rounds off the collection. Seraphine Blue, get ready. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait to really dive into that one with you guys. We're, you know, a certain number of weeks away from, uh, from the pre-sale on that one. It's going to be available in both sizes, four ounce and two ounce. Um, you guys are going to be very happy with the plates on Citrine. I saw the final rendition. I got a picture of that. Plates look amazing. Absolute work of art for the four ounce for Citrine. So the Citrine restock on both sizes is coming in the next few weeks. Um, speaking of Zaharoff news. So for those of you that were waiting on that kind of stuff, get ready. Going to be a great summer for Zaharoff, I got to say. With the, the restock and, two, and new bigger bottle for Citrine and Seraphine Blue, it's going to be an even better summer than Coca Loco was. Yeah. Because then on top of that, you got Coca Loco already available and you know a lot of you already have it and you'll be pulling your bottle out so it's going to be a great a great summer for those of you that like Zaharoff I gotta say never tried it though no worries my man thanks for coming for a little bit originals feminine woodsy vanilla elixirs dark wood fig I probably like that the bishop has arrived no worries followed by kerosene it's a monster over the top so I guess we, you know, we've been hanging at the bottom. Gave my little quick update. The bishop has arrived. I'm gonna end it on the bishop. You know, we'll go ahead and shut it down. Quick recap, Jared. Kajal four, smooth, slightly sweet, but more smoky leather accord. And then Kajal three, very much a less ambroxan, more ginger dominant, heavy tigar. Nine point five out of ten. Eight point five. Nine point five. I love them. I think it's quite the pairing. Very diverse wardrobe between the two. Good, good stuff. It was an absolute pleasure to have you, my man. Thank you for coming. I love when you come by. I love when we were able to, you know, have the back and forth and everything, and you really drop your opinions down on some of these fragrances. Because I love how critical thinking you are. I absolutely love it. Never looked into it. 
yes, that is indeed coming. And we'll go ahead. And, yes, sir. And we're going to go ahead and shut it down on this point. So I appreciate everybody for being here. If you haven't checked out today's video, please do so. <clears throat> um, as far as tomorrow's videos, I'm not completely certain on what tomorrow's video is going to be yet. I've got a few ideas and tossed around. I've always got content rolling around in the back of my head. Um, so we'll have a, the typical stuff tomorrow. Tomorrow's stream. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Keep touching that damn tattoo. Um, it's going to be me, Randy, and Dedrick, 6 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Eastern. We did a decant swap, so make sure to catch us tomorrow evening. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. Make sure to like the stream before you leave.